When the Rocket men's basketball team took off from Chicago to Alaska for a long early season road trip, it was looked upon as a time to accomplish a lot of very important things for the upcoming season. To come together as a team, gain some valuable experience for their young players, and to chart their course going forward into the MAC regular season. I, I think it was it was great for our team just to get away for a you know ten day road trip where we had a chance to, to do some some neat cultural things and team bonding things. And I think anytime when you have a young team, especially to to, to, to get away from distractions, is always a healthy thing. Yeah, it was a one in a lifetime experience. I always wanted to go. I'm kind of a big outdoors guy, so it was a good chance to see mountains and stuff that we don't see here. And it was just a good experience with the tournament, getting some games under our belt, playing in the championship. Didn't quite finish it how we wanted to, but it was still a good, good start to the season for us. And although he was unhappy that the Rockets dropped the tournament championship game to Middle Tennessee, Coach Kowalczyk felt the team made good progress on the trip. Yeah, I, you know, disappointed we didn't win the championship game, but I think this team grew and got better. And, you know, we walked out of there with some things that we needed to get better at, but at the same time feeling good about where we're where we're headed. One of the prime reasons the Rockets played so well in the Northern Wilds was the play of senior Nathan Booth, who recorded the first recorded triple-double in program history, as well as being named the Mac West Player of the Week for the second consecutive week. He says he's happy the way his hard work has translated into positive results on the court, especially because such a step up was so vital with the loss of so many key players from last year's squad. Oh, I think every year he's gotten better. I think he came in as a really good player. Every year he's gotten better. He's just he's such an unselfish guy. He can pass it, uh, you know. And now we, you know, we, you know, when you lose guys like you know Weatherspoon and Drummond and and Jewish Brown, you know, there's there's more shot opportunities for him, and he's really excelling with that. In addition to his performance on the court, Nate's role as a leader and mentor to the young Rocket players has been just as pivotal. Yeah, it was a big key for me this offseason. It was my leadership, you know, to talk to others, keep people motivated and stuff. I've been handling it good so far. One of the many freshmen that surround Booth on the floor, Nate Knapke, concurs wholeheartedly that Booth has been a great leader and role model for the young players on the Rockets. Nate's a tremendous leader. He, he always, in practice, he's always getting on us to bring energy. So we have good practices and that, that'll transfer to the court. Yeah, it, his his leadership is more with just uh, by his work ethic and his toughness and his you know he's such a great teammate. But uh, you know, guys look up to him because they see how hard he works, and, and, and that that hard work is paying off. Undoubtedly, the UT faithful will greatly enjoy watching Booth's exploits on the floor this year, and in fact, even more of them will be watching him this year because of work that Booth himself did over the off season, helping to sell season tickets for the upcoming year. Uh, I needed a summer job. And then for my I'm marketing and sales and needed an internship. And luckily the ticket office was outsourcing tickets through, through Aspire. And I was a sales representative for them. And I just called uh, boosters and people in the Toledo area or people that came to the games and tried to uh, give them a pitch to sell season tickets. Hi, John. This is Nathan Booth with the Toledo Rockets. How are you doing today? Booth's supervisor, Matt Ritchie, says that Booth's performance in his job duties were as solid as his contributions have been on the court. Nate was great this summer, and he's one of the most humble people uh, that I've ever worked with. People recognize his name, but he still wants to succeed on this job uh, without people knowing that he's the one on the billboard, he's the one on the pocket schedules. Uh, he was great this summer. Mm -hmm. What sorts of things did he need to learn? He's a marketing major, he said, but uh, to teach him to do the job that he had to do, and what did he have to pick up on uh, in order to do that? Yeah, so we went over just the basic sales training, um, establishing relationships with our season ticket holders, asking the right questions. Uh, what I didn't teach him was his attitude and effort. He brought that himself. But this, just as Booth's play on the floor, has also been no surprise because he has a history of excelling at whatever he does. Nathan has expressed an interest in coaching in the future as well as developing more of his professional and business skills. And in fact, Coach K acknowledges that Booth has a future on the floor beyond Toledo. And he hopes that whatever road his prized veteran travels may yet lead back home again. He's going to make some money at this game, but when it's all said and done, I'd like to have him back at Toledo. Greg Frankie reporting for Rocket Roundup.